Good morning, folks. We remember this buoy that showed a 20-foot drop in sea depth yesterday. It has now been turned off. The fifth such buoy shut down after anomalous readings in the same Indonesian tectonic breakup zone. I see not a coincidence. White coral disease affecting more than just coral in Hawaii, with wildlife now showing symptoms. How about mutated rats in the UK, completely immune to poison? Most significant quake yesterday was a 5.4 in Pakistan, although not quite the largest of the day. We have flooding in Scotland, which should be no surprise, as yesterday we saw the new system encroach northern Europe, spin that moist air over top the islands, and will do so tonight and again tomorrow. In Australia, these thunderstorms are still very dangerous, seem to follow that convergence of high and low pressure on the east coast there. Also, we have this low base just south of here yanking tropical air straight down. It's very, very hot and fire hazards rolling across the nation. Precipitation records appear smaller here because they had to shrink them down to fit them all in. They are all from Washington State or Oregon as this big, inexplicably unnamed monstrosity puts its helical take on a mini version of the theorized arc storm. Effects go all the way up to northern provinces. Kind of makes the wind map look boring today, if that's possible. F1 critical frequency is again over the 8 hertz line, as Earth continues to lose its energetic equilibrium. An interesting lesson in space weather nuance, around 1500 or 1600 UTC we get a significant and sudden jump in solar wind density, catching our shields off guard, penetrating into our system before we quickly regrouped. Earth footprint has jumped to the southwestern Earth-facing solar disk with magnetic connections to nearly all the Earth-facing spots. Speaking of which, only two real dangers right now, both center disk on the north. On the right, we have a decaying relic with easily separated magnetics and a valiant but fruitless effort to make a delta spot in the middle. Left of that, they're having a little more luck. I see development. I see at least four areas where blue and red are close enough to call delta if they grow. Already a gamma class, and when we zoom into that region in 193 angstroms, we see it's active and energetic. Gotta watch this one for a few days. On the southwest, a filament I was worried about all weekend benignly slipped back into the sun without eruption. Eyes open, no fear, it's 6.23 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.